Hey, good afternoon. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. If this video is helpful, please send me nice comments, share my, like my videos, share my videos, most of all, subscribe to my page. So I'm going to drop a little bit of knowledge on you. Um, I'm going to talk to you about some brakes. I mean, people think brakes are so simple and that they're the easiest thing in the world. And, and they are relatively simple, but I want to talk to you about some general things that you're doing when you're putting them back together. Uh, real quick, like. So one of the things is when you change these these pads here and we're not doing that we're doing a axle and a control arm but it made me think of this when you change these pads here underneath these go ahead and clean that off with the file that's a big thing when you're changing pads when next thing that a lot of people do most people will say well i just put brand new brakes on my car and, and my brakes felt fine before but they're all spongy now well the things that you might have done was you probably twisted that that's your brake line. You gotta make sure that it's that it's going on there properly and it has like a nice flow to it and a nice contour, okay? That's one of the other things is don't over tighten these brake caliper bolts. They only have to be about, you know, 25 pounds. Uh, and I'm talking about the pens right there. All they do is ha allow the caliper to slide back and forth. Um, there was one other thing that I was gonna point out to you guys if you're ever doing two calipers at one time, this was a funny one that I seen a couple years ago. Remember that your brake bleeder should be on the top of the caliper. If the caliper is installed correctly, your brake ble bleeder will be above your brake line. And I seen that on the back. This guy said, oh man, I put brand new brakes on, did this exact same thing. He had the caliper, he had the lines twisted, plus... He had the calipers on the wrong side. Now, that might not have been his fault. Maybe the parts store told him this is the right and this is the left, and he didn't know, you know, that the right was when you're sitting in the vehicle and the left is when you're sitting in the driver's seat, not when you're pointed at the car. But hopefully all this information is helpful. Uh, please send me your nice comments. Remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. Don't be the, first of the, don't be the next of them. Be the first of you. God bless. Have a great day.